Welcome back everybody. This is Shadow Kato. Thank you guys for uh, coming back again and watching my gameplays today. We are playing what's called Scorch. Now from what I got from the description, it seems like that I'm, I could be wrong. It seems like you are a detective trying to figure out or find out or you know do your detective work uh, to figure out what caused a fire and I believe the fire uh, took someone's life. So you're trying to figure out the mystery of what happened. So let's see what we can get into and see what we can find out. This one, um, not quite sure how big the game is or how long it's going to be. So if it's a little bit too long, I'm going to cut it early and then make another episode. So here we go, right into Scorch. <laughs> Hey, Chief. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Oh, Sounds geez. like you're sober this time around. At least you're not slurring like last week. Yeah, well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? Very funny, Gary. Listen, you know that this case is your last chance to prove yourself. Hmm, sure. So, what happened here? A man, Mike Hill, was found burned to death in his shed. We want you to take a look at the crime scene. Mm, yeah. I know it's not easy to solve this case in one day, but you've done it before. I believe in you, so don't disappoint me. Yeah, I'll do my best. Alrighty. I need to see if I can put the subtitles on. I am so sorry about that, guys. Subtitles, there we go. Alright, back to game. So, we need to figure out how this guy died in one day. Because apparently I have one last chance to prove myself. So we are going to Milliken Way or the Tualatin Hills, which is the ranger station. Alright, let's go to the ranger station. As always, shift is always going to be run. This looks actually really cool. Looks like it's just autumn, which means it's going to be much easier to start a fire. So, I'm going to keep on. Hello. Is there a bench? Right out here. I don't know. Where. Does this guy take a walk? Alright, so what do we got here? Beaverton Call. Forest Ranger perished in Dedicate. Oh, he was a Forest Ranger. Ooh. Mike Hill, 43, a Forest Ranger in Tolison Hills National Park, died in a terrible fire yesterday evening. Hill's body was found inside a small shed near his own Forest Ranger cabin. The local officials suspect murder. Yesterday at 4 p.m., a nearby jogger reported seeing smoke and called the fire department. Soon after, the local police department was also alarmed. The local police is currently investigating the tragic event. Who or what has caused the fire? Officials suspect that it may have been murder, but it is too soon to say. One police detective is looking into this. Similar fire happened 30 years ago when the Parker family perished, and only the youngest child, Jay Parker, survived. The culprit was never found. Has the same person struck again? Our condolences go to the Hills family and friends. All right. It seems that someone has forgotten today's newspaper here. Though I got to say, the um, voice acting could use a little work. So there's the newspaper. So ah, there's the evidence. Here's the profile. That's me, apparently. Resources. Emails. Hello, Mr. Price. Don't forget to check Mike's emails to see if there is anything of interest found there. Initial investigations couldn't find the password, but maybe you could give it a shot, Gonzalez. Gonzalez was the person on the phone. Intro. Good morning, Gary. Hello, Chief. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Sounds like just. Oh, that is the. Uh, okay, this is what everything that was said. So you can pause it to. Let me. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, that was everything that was said in the phone call. So you guys can pause it to read it to see what it said. All right, continuing on. There is the forest ranger station, I believe, and there is a thing. Oh, gasoline! Why is there thing? The gasoline can, and it's almost empty. Yeah, I figured that. And this is the shed. I wonder if he actually talks to himself like this. Granted, I I do it too, so I I have nothing. 
it's a shark axe. <laughs> of course, it's a shark axe. All right, and like any good detective, before they go in, they check the outside to make sure everything's okay. Let's see here, back here. I see nothing. Man, I'm really getting lost here. I better return back to the path. Oh, Man, come! I'm really getting lost here. I better return back to the path. <sighs> no little prick. See? Nope. See, it's not a uh, crouch. I guess there is no crouch. Alright. Ranger station. Get up the stairs. There's nothing. Here. It's not that hard. How did this vase break? And why is it still lying here? Yeah, well, I hope I don't waste my time with this. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Alright, so I'm at the ranger station. If I go down further down the path, I see the lookout. <coughs> and there's a clearing right here. Uh, road. <coughs> trail. River. Park. Boundary, meadow, lane, what in your location? Okay, so let's go into the bathroom. There's one light, there's another light. I can't, I can't take a shower. I wanted to take a shower. Ew. Oh. Oh my gosh, it looks like he was sick before he died. Oh, that's disgusting. Is there anything? What's this? I wonder what led the victim to take antidepressants. Maybe he was alone by himself with lotion and tissue paper. Yeah, I'm going to get that up to you guys' imagination. Uh, what's behind the door? Nothing. Alright. Booties. Rubber booties. Alright, so here's the office. There's a message. First, we must investigate. Ooh, little pictures. Nothing here. Oh, that's a TV. Turn the lights on. I think these coffee mugs were just recently used. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Hmm. Cytoxin. Isn't that some kind of chemotherapy pill? Is he taking chemotherapy? Why was the coffee? Is that the fridge? Uh... Okay, I'm trying to read the note, and I can't read the note. Okay, fine. What? Mmm, yummy. Seriously, dude? You gonna do that to a dead man's dinner? I mean, clean the dishes, I can understand, but... Eating his food? Check the trash. Ah! Nothing in there. Nothing there. Well, look what I found here. A key. Alright, alright. Ooh. So who... Is that him? I would guess that's him. Like, he's, he's taking it out of the present, so I would imagine that would be him. From Jason for Mike. An action figure. Yeah, that's kind of odd. Let's turn that off because I don't. Nope. Nope. Alright, let's turn that off.
I really don't know if that's going to be copyrighted. Uh, let's turn that on. Did that say Ellie? It says Ellie. Why did it say Ellie? Hmm. Why is there a matchbox line here? I mean, it is a ranger station. I would imagine that he would have a matchbox. Because when I was in Scouts and we were in the woods, we had matches. Let's go upstairs. We got a shovel, a dartboard that looks like it's never used. Up there. Fan. First aid kit, which has nothing in it, which is very odd. A ranger station never, ever have an empty first aid kit. I hate that door. Uh, what is this? Man. This thing is ancient. Obituaries. David and Jane Parker. Funeral service for David and Jane Parker were held on November 4th, 1987. Blank PM in Pinkerton Chapel. Mr. and Mrs. Parker were born May 2nd, 1955 and December 1956, respectively. They both passed away in the church of Castlebar. David and Jane were survived by their parents, three siblings, and the 13-year-old Jason Parker. I didn't want this. Well, why did Mike keep this? Um, I have a theory already. I do apologize, but yeah, I think I have a theory. Hello. What? You're going going to regret this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's Jason Parker. This must be Mike. Mike Hill. They must have known each other as they were kids. But who set the fire for the Parkers in the first place? This looks like an old high school memory. Well, it's much more... Oh, I can use this guy's an idiot. Mountainside High School. Class of 91. Probably is off the phone when you're ready. 25 year reunion, come and catch up with old friends. Now why would Mike put this in the bin? I'm not done yet here. Still looking. Still looking. See, I would at least search a little bit better. Alright. Nothing there. Nothing there. Wait a minute. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Alright, what do we have here? I can't even look closer, I can't see. Hmm. That is Mike. All right, let's turn that on. All right, there was something down here I wanted. <sighs> yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy report. Are you listening? Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. Forensics identified a wound on his head which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm, okay. Anything else? He'll had traces of antidepressant medication in his system. Right, that's good to know. And what was the last thing he consumed? Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. Interesting. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. I didn't want to talk to you yet. Jeez. Let me do my job. Alright. Checking the phone. You have three new messages. Hey Mike, how are you? I know that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed. Please. Hello, Michael. It's Jason, from Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? It's been forever. 
Anyway, I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. Mike, it's me again. You better not snoop around anymore. You won't find out anything anyways. Just keep to yourself, Phil. I've got a lot to lose here. Wait. Okay. Theory, theory is, theory is collaborating in my head here. Hill, Mike Hill, is a park ranger. He works and. Oh, hello. Oh, Mike, nice one. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Um, and just works at the park range. And I would presume that um, that would be his now, I guess, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, something like that, who called saying that he's quote-unquote saw them. Um, so my thinking is, is that him and Jason knew each other when they were kids. Something happened, and it was an accident where Jason's parents died in the fire. Nobody said anything. Years later, Jason gets a hold of Mike again after the reunion. They meet up. Jason meets Mike's then quote-unquote girlfriend, and they... Get together and then um, Mike finds out. Kinda goes crazy, goes to his therapist, starts taking antidepressants, um, still can't take it away from his mind. Something about a chemotherapy drug. I it might be that he's um, trying to kill himself at the same time. So that's probably why he's also taking antidepressants. Something happened, and maybe Jason snaps, or somebody, somebody snaps and has a grudge against Mike to kill him. Like, this is no, this is definitely a murder. Somebody has something against him, but I don't know. So we got, alright, so he drank coffee. Here's the here's the business card. Brittany Bright. There's the business card. Okay. Oh, that's that's just a good card. There's the twenty five year okay. This is trash. I don't, I don't need that. The twenty five year interval I like this. Um I would guess that the matches. Now the broken action figure probably was both mics. What does this say? Yes! From Jason! I... They probably played together with these action figures and Jason was able to find one. Um, this will be connected to that. I don't know why I have an axe. He has antidepressants. Um... Why... Oh, the base is probably broken because, um... Uh, he tried to... Um... What do you call it? Defend himself. Uh, here's here's his favorite. Uh, uh, and then there's the axe. This one. I, I need. To, I, I would like to call a therapist to be honest. Uh, so we know the autopsy. He was dousing gasoline from head to toe. Carbon dioxide in his lungs. <clears throat> one of his lower, lower ribs was broken. Susan Baker, was it? And she's trying to break it up with him, but he's not taking the, the, the hint. Emails. So I gotta find the password.
I wonder if it's not as simple as it's written down somewhere. I wonder if no. Uh, let's check this again. If if it was anything, it will probably be like this. Jeez, I, this is interesting. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I understand now. Okay, so I can't make the call unless I know exactly what's going on. So I need to go over to the uh, lookout. I need to go to the lookout to see if uh, what I can find out. Because here's where he died. Oh, that's a leaf. He had broken rib. So something hit him, and hit him hard, to break his rib. So let's go over to the lookout. So I can't, it's very linear, so I can't just wander off. I would like to. Alright, so here's the lookout. Oh, this is a little creepy. That's just a log. Man, I'm really getting lost here. I better return back to the path. So yeah, definitely very linear. I can't, I can't go anywhere. So whoa, whoa! Here we go. Here we go. This is definitely it. All right. So it's December fifteenth, twenty seventeen. Time: seven a.m. to twelve p.m. Section C, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Blind. All right, so section C. Comments, 10 a.m. Susan's inspecting my area again. She bought a bigger and uglier bag. 9.30 a.m. Susan shouted at me again. September 18th. Exit, Milligan Way, Section C, Watchtower. 7.30 a.m. Couple taking morning walk. 12 p.m. Susan inspecting again. September 23rd, not the 22nd, near Washtenaw. 12 p.m. Always said, sorry, gonna make an extra long shift. 8 p.m. What's Susan doing in at night in my section? 8. 9.30. Had a look. Why is there a mushroom plantation I've never seen before? A mushroom plantation? September 30th. Everywhere. First school week equals school children dropping garbage everywhere. So much cleaning to do. September 3rd, no, it's October 3rd. He's starting to. Okay. Uh, 12 a.m. Susan inspects my area again. She's collecting those weird mushrooms. I think she's seen as well. She didn't come to shout at me. Suspicious. Hmm. Mike wrote down everything he observed. I wonder. What did he observe with those? Is there a way I can use them? I mean, I'm in the wash tower. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I can't crouch. There was an oh, there was a clearing this way, right down this path. <gasps> what? There is a mushroom plantation. Huh? Some mushrooms. Hmm. 
Hello, Price. Haven't heard from you in a while. I've got everything under control here, all right? It seems like you're having trouble getting on your feet. I stuck my neck out for you. You could at least try. That was a one-time thing, Gonzalez. Why can't you just let it go? Because it's not right. You have responsibilities, Price. You can't come to work drunk and expect everything to be okay. Look, I... I was supposed to fire you immediately, but I respect you, Price. You're a good officer, so please don't make me regret my decision. All right, okay. Just let me go do my job. I don't know who killed him. I don't know how to get into the computer. Okay, so <sighs> Tab WSD Control G Escape New Schedule Friday Saturday Oh one two three four is that seriously the <sighs> Are you serious? Oh my gosh, it's right there. I have, oh man, I can hear, I bet you guys are just screaming at me. Oh, jeez. Alright. Alright, so. Ah, uh, that's not my favorite. Alright, here we go. That is Lunchback LTD Limited. This Lunchback will blow your mind. Available for a limited time only. The Lunchback is out of this world, sturdy and reliable. Why is there a Lunchback that has Ellie on it? People are actually losing their minds. Hello, is anyone there? Outside 25 year reunion, October 6th. Same for the former students. We're all getting together for a reunion, Mike. I hope you've been doing well in your little hut up there. Jason will be there too. Maybe the students can finally make amends. Anyway, I hope you're well, Jessica. Hi, Mike. Just wanted to inform you that it's time to get rid of that old rifle of yours. I know you can quite attach just the two of you and all, but it's really time to get into new one. Regulations and all. Don't set the forest on fire, Kyle. Union pictures. Hi, Mike. It's Jessica again. We missed you at the party. Well, maybe we'll see you next time. Jason seemed like he wanted to tell you something. Anyways, I touched record with us. Hope you're well, Jessica. And why does Jason look drugged up? Hi, Mike. I just want to remind you that we changed schedules. Your turn on watch is on Saturdays now. Please don't forget like that, like you did last time. Just a heads up, Susan. All right, so I couldn't reach you on the phone. First, let me, let me first off let me remind you of your position. I could fire you any time. Don't do anything rash. You should consider your options. This isn't as simple as you think. This is none of your business, but you should know that I never hurt anyone. She is distributing drugs. Then who killed him? This was October 3rd. Susan inspects my area again. She's collecting those weird mushrooms. I think she's seen me as well. She didn't come to shout at me. Suspicious. Um, uh, crap. I wish, um, uh... alright. So, Twenty third. Gotta make an action off ship. There's a mushroom plantation there. Why is there mushroom? Plantation? Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, oh, it's on a time base. Okay, all right. 
Well, let's make the call. So I found all the evidence I, I believe. I don't think I missed anything. And the broker rib. I'm I'm kind of curious about that one. I I uncovered the past, kind of. It's Gary. I think I've got the crime solved. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, there is no going back. Yes, I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. Then let's hear it. First question. Did you find out how Mike died? He was burned. First, <clears throat> let's get these out of the way. Second, Axe, Cassidy, oh wait, no, what was the vase? Cassidy, matches. Okay, I see, but what happened in the hours before the murder? Before the murder. He didn't take any drugs. He was going to show them. He was taking antidepressants. Before the murder. So I'm guessing he. It was. That. That. I don't think it was Jake, no. It did seem like Jason wanted to make amends, and it didn't seem like he even saw Jason. But he, he kept on snooping around where Susan was. Susan had a lot riding on it. And she said, us. I'm saying Susan. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure about this one. But, well, tell me, what did you find out about the victim's past? drawing today seem random at best but come back to the police station first we'll have a closer look into it what oh crap it, no the murder was susan and the mushrooms shoot Oh, don't tell me that they're going to tell me how it actually ends. Don't tell me how it's going to actually end because I don't I want to actually try again. Listen, chief. I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. 
I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know, I took therapy for years. I learned to cope. But then I got cancer. What? It's like I'm being punished for something. At least, that's how I felt. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I bullied in school. I figured I'd make amends. So I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was like I was in a trance. So, I picked up a vase, and I kept hitting him, and hitting him until he was lying on the floor. Once I realized what I'd done, I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it on fire. I regret it now. Out of everyone, I should know best that death is permanent. And I messed up. I thought it was Susan. Like, I didn't... You didn't meet my expectations today. I am disappointed. Get your things and clean up your office. Oh, no. <laughs> so, it was him all along. But why was Susan doing all that? Like, what the heck is going on with that? Okay, so very interesting how they did it. I I oh wow, that was a little loud. Let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. That that should be better. Um, <clears throat> so putting in the evidence with him and. Uh, Jason and Mike together. That's that's fine. Um, I can understand that. But why did it also focus a lot on Susan? Um, I mean, there's Susan right there. There's Mike. There's Gonzalez on the left. I guess the one on the right is Jason. But. The, the thing is, is, is they, they gave the, um, the motive to Susan. They didn't give any motive to, um, Mike or, or Jason. Like, the fire with, with Jason's parents. How, how was it Mike? What did... Granted, he explained that he bullied him when he was in school, but... That doesn't turn a kid to burn the family. And then... You know, I grant... I, I get... You know, he wants... Oh, Ellie's Lunchbox. That's the, uh... Huh. The producing company or the developing company or whatever. Uh, but anyway... Um... It doesn't really point to the way it ended that way. Okay. There's the chemotherapy medicine. And then there was the antidepressants. I should have probably seen that Susan and Mike had nothing going on, but it, the way it sounded like you saw us. First off, who is us? Second, saw us implies that, you know, they were together and he saw her cheating on him. I, I don't know, I might have to, to play this again, 
and see what other evidence I could find because that that confuses me. Like the way the evidence was, what everything that I looked at just seemed not there. And I made the mistake of doing the uh, action figures when I thought it was Susan in the first place when she said murder fact. But I don't know. I I I'm gonna check it out again. So I went through the game again. This time going through by picking somebody else and it was still kind of confusing. Like I even answered like everything right, like the past and everything. Uh, but put the evidence there, putting his name. I guess I should have put his full name in. Um, but it still seemed like there was something missing. There was still seemed like there was evidence missing. Like there was there was things that that I didn't quite get, and I looked everywhere, and it still didn't make sense. Granted, now that I know who the culprit is, now I know who the um, killer was, it, it made a little bit more sense about different things, but it didn't make any sense at the beginning. Like, how are you supposed to know that Jason picked on Mike? I mean, you see a broken toy. Yeah, kids break toys all the time. And they see a new toy, you know, to, that's just like the old one. Nostalgic value is what I thought. Two friends who used to play together and then all of a sudden an accident happened that caused Jason's uh, parents' life. And both kids, afraid of what's going to happen, didn't say anything. Not Mike getting revenge. And it seemed like Jason got, like, before the confession, Jason was able to live his life while Mike wasn't. And then the whole thing with Susan just completely threw me off. So it's... It was a good short game. Uh, unfortunately, if you're watching this, um, I mean, it is free to play. You can see if you can do it better than I did. Um, but... Uh, you pretty much saw the ending right there, so spoiler alert. Um, but it's still just not everything fit right, especially through the first playthrough. So anyway, that was Scorch. Thank you all guys for watching. I would try to bring out more more of this out for you guys. So, you know, just different random games that I play. I I would like to actually have a little bit more series going on so that I can actually bring out put out more reliable uh, content for you guys so that you can uh, play along with me but um and I was still once I get the streaming thing figured out hoping that my uh, files don't get corrupted again uh, still don't know if uh, some of these videos is going to go up I'm recording these videos some of these videos on the same day um, through my work schedule it's easier for me to uh, record and play multiple games in one day and then throughout the week I edit and then I upload so you're gonna be able to see some of this um, as the days go by but for me it's all in the same day so, thank you guys for watching and participating please hit that like subscribe and notification button discord is in the description I don't know if I should be able to uh, if I should say that anymore but it will be down there uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please let me know any games that you guys are interested in that watching uh, me play. But anyways, thank you everybody for watching. And, oh geez, sometimes these outros, I get a little confused of what I'm going to say. But thank you again, and I shall see you guys next time.